Hello brothers and sisters, this is Sister Sarah. I would like to share another word um, that Yehoshua has shared with me and he wants me to release it. I pray in the name of Yehoshua that whoever listens to this message um, goes directly to the Most High, to our Heavenly Father and asks for confirmation and for more understanding in what I'm going to, um, what I'm about to say. Why do you call upon me using false names? Hear, O Israel, for I speak through the mouth of someone you consider the least, a woman, but not any woman, but someone you look upon and consider an unclean Gentile. Yes, you still see the rest of my creation as unclean. You who disobeyed me and had not only married but also adopted the worship of other gods. In the final mo moments, the earth has, which in human terms may last a little longer than expected for your sake, I speak through chosen vessels who are not just paying lip service, but are at my feet wanting more of me. It was told you not to consider yourself special, for you have the blood of your father Abraham, because I am able to turn rocks into children, if I wished to do so. Yet I come back to you and am accepting of you who will and have repented within the bloodline of Jacob. Hear me, you who think you know it all, just as I can turn rocks into children, so I have now been sealing my 144,000. They are in all nations, and though they may have no proof before you of their lineage, I have just testified on their behalf. I am revealing things you have hidden from them, told them titles you erroneously used for me. Um, I'll say it again. I am revealing things you have hidden from them, uh, told them titles you erroneously use for me. I am the Father. I am holy. How can I listen to anyone calling on me with the name of another God? Have you read my word? Whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. What is my name? My name is not what you say. See, your heart and never when you call the name you call me. I see your heart and never when you call the name you call me. Is it really me or an idol? Now I ask you, could you say to me on the fateful day I collect you to be with me that you know me? If you called me by a different name, a complete different name, not even a shortened version of my name, I say this to your shame, Christians and Jews. I have Messianic Jews, vessels who have accepted me, and Messianic Gentiles who have been indoctrinated by Messianic Jews, who still drink the old wine, instead of seeking new wine. Why do you call me Adonai? Have you studied the origin of this word? Was not a false god Adon become Adonis? Is not I a reap of ruins? Is not an angel of destruction called Abaddon? Why would you call the angel of destruction Abba? Was he not created for judgment and to release the beast of the bottomless pit? You must understand that without my son, there is no redemption. And that no examining things with me will lead you astray. This very message must be checked with me for veracity. And know that you read, say or think about me must be checked with me. If in the end those who call my name are saved, what is my name? I said to you, 
I am in the Father and the Father in me. This has many multiple meanings. One of them is that my name, Yehoshua, is in my Father's name and his name is in me quite literally. So when you call on the Son, you call on the Father. I say to you Christians, Jews, Messianic Jews, and those who call themselves my disciples, you must return to the ancient paths. You must consult me through my son, Yehoshua Hamashir, the intermediator between us. You must worship me as I want to be worshipped. You must keep your garment unstained from sin. Have I not removed you from a pool of vomit? So why return to it? Examine my word and find what I want from you. Remove yourself from pagan festivities and get to know my festivities, my holy days, without forgetting to judge yourself against my standard. My standard is divine sacrificial love for me, the great I am, and each other. Giving your all to me and leaving man-made statutes in order to follow my justice, charity, charity and self-love. But not self-serving love, but a love for self that will keep you in the fear of the Lord and away from sin. Love the love the you I have I have created to be in me. I repeat that. Love the you I have created you to be in me. Pray the person I see is the one you become speedily. So this is the message in um, Yehoshua's most holy name. I'm just a servant of the Most High. Um, and I pray in the name of Yehoshua that all of us are seeking his face daily and uh, listening to his voice and uh, not have our hearts hardened and being obedient. In Yehoshua's name, be blessed.